This video will cover some questions from some of the most frequent topics that come up on Paper 1 GCSE Business. It will allow you to see how questions are worded for these topics and, for the most part, I've included more than one question for that topic. This video is Part 1. Do look out for Part 2. There are resources in the description box which includes a revision checklist and a formula sheet. These videos may also be of importance to you. I will also put the link to them in the description box. If you found this video useful then please do give it a like and subscribe. It lets me know that you found it helpful and allows YouTube to push it out to others who could benefit from it too. Grab a pen and paper and let's work through these questions together. Explain one reason why new business ideas come about. Now, if you're not sure how to answer three mark questions and maximize marks, then do check out the video that's at the bottom of the screen. I will put the link to it in the description box. So you can pause the video now and give this question a go. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. A new business idea may come about because consumers want something new. Existing products may not meet customer needs. This can lead to an entrepreneur spotting a new business opportunity in the market. That would give you three marks. Or you might have had a new business idea may come about because of changes in technology. This allows new products to be created. Entrepreneurs will therefore look to create demand for this new product. Or you might have had any other appropriate response. Next question, explain one way an entrepreneur might identify a new business idea. So this question is slightly different from the previous one, which was one reason. So you can pause the video now and give this question a go. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. The entrepreneur may have a completely original idea, which is based on knowledge of the market. This can lead to the development of a totally new product that does not have any competition in the market. Or you might have had observing existing products can lead to ideas about how these might be improved. As a result of these ideas, an entrepreneur can innovate an existing product. Explain one reason why an entrepreneur may adapt an existing product to come up with a new business idea. You can pause the video and give this question a go. Market segmentation questions. State one market segment that On Your Bike has targeted and it's a one mark question. On Your Bike is a family owned business that first opened in London in 1983. Its customers include children buying their first bikes and scooters through to experienced enthusiasts in road cycling and mountain biking. The business offers a wide range of bikes, many imported from abroad. These include high quality brands such as Brompton, Cannondale and Ridgeback. It also stocks a wide range of clothing and helmets, including brands such as Endura and Altura. On Your Bike has large workshop facilities in its shop where qualified mechanics maintain and repair all makes of bike. All mechanics go on regular training courses to ensure they keep their skills and knowledge up to date with the latest cycling technology. This allows On Your Bike to offer exceptional customer service and advice. The cycling market has grown over recent years. Market research has shown that an increasing number of tourists like to rent bikes when on holiday. In response to this, On Your Bike operates one of the largest bike rental services in London. Bikes can be hired by the day or week with a choice including road and electric bikes. Let's take a look at the mark scheme where we need to state one market segment that On Your Bike has targeted. You could have stated children or their parents buying first cycles or scooters or cycling enthusiasts interested in mountain biking or tourists looking to rent cycles whilst on holiday or any other appropriate response. Outline one market segment that Frog Bites targets with its products. 
In 2012, Jerry and Shelley Lawson started a new business, Frog Bikes. The aim was to produce lightweight and affordable children's bikes. The company's bikes were designed for children using the latest technology. The bikes are produced in a Chinese factory and sold in the UK and other countries. The business quickly became successful. By 2016, its bikes were sold in over 700 shops in the UK. It faces competitors such as J.E. James, which sells similar bikes in the UK. Frog Bikes uses social media to promote its bikes. Figure 2 shows a competition run on the Frog Bikes Twitter account. To enter the competition, people needed to follow the business on Twitter. As a manufacturer and retailer, Frog Bikes has to comply with a large amount of legislation. All bikes meet ISO standards. This ensures they are safe for children. Rules include the need for all bikes to be fitted with a chain guard and for handlebars to be safety checked. In 2016, Jerry and Shelley decided to increase production to meet the growing demand. They considered expanding the company's Chinese factory or building a new factory in the UK. You can pause this video and give the question a go. The mark scheme. So it's a two mark question outline. You might have written that parents of young children are a market segment because the bikes produced by Frog Bites are designed specifically for children. Or you might have written children are a market segment because the bikes produced by Frog Bites are designed specifically for children. They would not accept market segments that would not be appropriate for Frog Bites, for example, pensioners. Customer needs questions. Next question, which one of the following could be used to identify customer needs? Is it a business idea, business objectives, market research, or the marketing mix? And the answer is market research. Explain one benefit to a small business of understanding customer needs. Take a look at the mark scheme. One benefit to a small business of understanding customer needs is that it can set a suitable price. This means customers are more likely to buy the product. This will generate more revenue for the business. Or, the small business can develop the quality of the product to meet customer needs. This means that the business can gain a competitive advantage, which allows the business to gain a larger market share. Two mark question, outline one way that Zoella Beauty meets customer needs. Now this is a case study question, so the answers need to relate to the case study. Zoe Sug, known to her fans as Zoella, is an entrepreneur and a star of YouTube. She has enjoyed success with her fashion and lifestyle vlog and has become a celebrity as well as an entrepreneur. After starting her lifestyle blog, Zoella in 2009, she soon had thousands of followers. Zoe extended the blog to a YouTube channel and by 2015 had 7.5 million subscribers. In, in September 2014, Zoe launched her own brand bath and beauty range called Zoella Beauty. The brand logo is shown in figure two. Zoella Beauty products are stocked by major retailers, including Superdrug and Boots. The business also uses e-commerce to sell its product range. In 2014, Zoella Beauty earned revenue of £400,000. However, the competitive environment for beauty products aimed at younger females is becoming more crowded. Rivals include retailers such as Lush. So you can pause the video now and give this question a go. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. You might have put acceptable prices, which means customers save more money than if they shopped at rivals such as Lush. You might have put choice so that customers can choose between different colors and fragrances of Zoella Beauty's products or any other appropriate response. Market research questions. We have a market research multiple choice question. Which two of the following are examples of primary market research? Select two answers. You have internet research, market reports, 
customer survey, government statistics, or focus groups? And the answers are customer survey and a focus group. Another multiple choice question, which one of the following is an example of secondary market research? Select one answer, customer survey, focus group, market report, observation. The answer is market report. Next question, explain one way in which social media can be used to collect market research data. Let's look at the Mark scheme. Surveys can be posted on social media and can allow potential customers to express their preferences, which the business can process to identify trends. Or types of followers of social media can be identified, which allow the business to identify the profile of customers and can use this information to design products to meet customers' needs or any other appropriate response. Another market research question. Are you noticing something here? <laughs> Explain one benefit to a small business of carrying out market research. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. Market research can help a business understand what types of product its customers want. It can then produce products that it knows will be demanded by customers and as a result will increase sales and revenue. Or market research enables a business to identify key features of competitors, which allows the business to spot a gap in the market so they can produce goods and services that help the business to stand out. Explain one disadvantage to a small business of using a focus group to collect market research data. Let's have a look at the mark scheme. Focus groups can be expensive to arrange. A business may have to pay people to participate in the focus group. This will lead to an increase of market research costs for a small business. Another point you could have made is the moderator can influence the responses of the participants. This is because they have preconceived ideas of what they want the outcomes to be. This can therefore lead to bias in the outcomes of the focus group or any other appropriate response. On to a 12 mark market research question, evaluate the importance of the reliability of market research data for POD point. You should use the information provided as well as your knowledge of business. Eric Fairburn started POD Point in 2009. Based in the UK, the business builds and supplies charging systems for electric cars. Eric felt that the demand for such cars was going to grow and saw a business opportunity. POD Point is a way of charging an electric car at home. Sales were promising and the business decided to expand. In 2014, POD Point raised £1.5 million through the crowdfunding site Cedars. In 2017, it raised a further £1.5 million using Crowdcube website. By 2017, the business had over 25,000 customers, many of whom are in other countries. For example, 20% of revenue comes from exports to Norway. The business is affected when the exchange rate changes. The business uses market research data that suggests that the demand for electric cars will continue to rise. Figures 3 and 4 show examples of market research data in the car industry. So have a look at figures 3 and 4 and attempt the question. Over to the mark scheme. Market research data is very important to a business like POD Point as it spends large amounts of money on investment in the business. Market research data is very important to POD Point as it is a business in a new type of industry. If market research information on electric cars is unreliable, then POD Point may make the wrong decisions. As electric cars are fairly new, POD Point cannot simply look back at demand from previous years. For example, figure three suggests that electric car sales will increase over the next three years, but if this information is incorrect, 
then money may be invested incorrectly. As a result, crowdfunding investors may choose not to invest any more in the business. Therefore, the quality of market research data will inform POD point of future trends in the market for electric cars. From this information, it will make a decision about investment and recruitment. As a result, the market research data is of vital importance. However, whilst market research data is important for a business like POD Point, there are more important factors for the business. For example, the quality of the charging system is more important as customers will need these to be safe. As a business already has over 25,000 customers, it is clear that it is growing based on its reputation and it does not need to rely as much on new market research data. However, the reliability of the market research data may not be too important. There is a large volume of information from a range of sources regarding the rise in popularity of electric cars. POD Point has access to lots of information about this market and the different sources together may provide reliability. Market map questions. Explain one benefit to a business of using a market map. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. The market map will help to identify key features of competitors, which allows a business to spot a gap in the market. So they can focus on features to make themselves different. Or a market map can help a business make decisions about its products so that the features of the products are different from their competitors, which makes it likely that they will get more customers. Another question explain one reason why a business could use a market map. The business will be able to identify where there is a gap in the market. This can lead to the development of a new product that does not have any competition in the market. As a result, the number of sales may increase. Another point that you could have made is to spot the main competition in the market. As a result, the business will be able to change its product range. This may lead to the business attracting new market segments. A six mark market mapping question. Analyze the impact on Sports Tools Limited of using market mapping to target customers. Over to the case study. Sports Tools Limited was established in 1989 and is one of the leading online specialist sports tour operators in the United Kingdom. It arranges tours for teams to destinations in the United Kingdom and Europe in sports such as football, rugby, hockey and netball. The business not only organises travel, accommodation and meals, but it also arranges games and entry to tournaments for the sports team whilst on tour. Sports Tours Limited has very high standards. It carries out full risk assessments for all tours, including possible pre-tour inspection visits. Tours are licensed and authorised through official agencies. All tours have regular contact with a member of staff from Sports Tours Limited. In recent years, the business has faced increasing competition. This is not only from other sports tour operators, but also from teams organising their own tours. Changing levels of consumer income and exchange rates have also had an impact on demand for tours by sports teams. Sports Tours Limited are confident that the high level of service they offer will help them to remain competitive. However, it is always looking for more ways to add value to its business activities. So you can pause the video and give this question a go. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. For one of your points, you might have had that market mapping allows Sports Tours Limited to spot gaps in the market where tours can be offered to groups of customers that are interested in different sports, such as netball and hockey. Another point might have been market mapping may identify a gap that exists because there is not enough demand in this type of sport or type of tour. This could lead to Sports Tours Limited targeting a market that does not exist. And for your analysis, you might have this will allow the business to reach a wider range of customers because it is not specialised in just one sport. There is a wide range of team sports played in the UK. Also, there are some minority sports where there will not be enough teams to organise fixtures. If Sports Tours Limited targets these markets, then it may lead to business failure. So those are some points that you could consider 
for this six mark question. Competitive environment questions. Explain one impact on a small business of operating in a competitive environment. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. Other local businesses will be selling similar products and as a result, the business may have to charge lower prices to remain competitive, which may result in them having lower sales revenue than if they operated in a less competitive environment or market. Or, rival products may be better than those supplied by the business, which means the business may have to develop and improve its own products. As a result of this, its costs will increase. Another competitive environment question. Explain one disadvantage to a business of operating in a competitive environment. Let's take a look at the mark scheme. There will be a lot of competitors, therefore, the business may have to charge a lower price. This may mean that the business does not generate as high a profit. Or, competitors put pressure on a business to provide a high quality product. If it does not do this, customers will choose one of the rivals. As a result of this, sales and revenue are likely to fall. Thank you for watching this video. The next two videos that will appear on the screen are what YouTube thinks you should watch next.